Now this particular tutorial is mostly going to be about setting up your document and how to make some quick starts for your startups, okay? Most of the people I'm talking to are into sublimation. We have certain sizes that we generally work with because of our printers. The largest size that we work with will be a 13 by 19. So let's say that's what we want to do here. Right now, this is probably uh, a legal size. To set the document up, we're going to go to File. We're going to go down here to Document Properties. We could have also hit Shift Control D, but I'm going to do it this way. Every time this thing seems to open in some weird spot. Okay, I'm in the United States, so I want my display units to be inches. And that's important to you uh, that you work in a display unit that you can comprehend. Okay, I hate having to constantly Google how to convert millimeters to inches. All right, so they don't have anything in here for um, um, the 13 by 19. If they do, it's in here under. Uh, um, under millimeters, okay? So I know the A3 is not the same as the A3 plus, um, so it's just not, you know. So I have to make this where I understand it. So I'm gonna go down here and make the units down here on this custom size. I'm gonna make this be 13, and then I'm gonna make my height be 19, okay? Now I'm still dealing in inches. You and other, uh, other areas, or those of you that are comfortable with metric, you go ahead and do it. And I'm going to make this a portrait mode so it's it's up and down, okay? So there we go. And you don't have to save anything. You just close it out. And that's how easy it is to set up your document. So let's go ahead and save that as... We're going to save that as 13 by 19 portrait. Now I have... I'm, I'm very big on organization in my document folder I have another folder called Inkscape documents and that's where I keep these these are my startup files so I have a 13 by 19 portrait already saved and then I have a legal size already saved those are two common ones that I use a lot I also use 11 by 17 I could go ahead and make that but at the moment so I would I would write in here what I want this to be and I would hit save for the moment we're just gonna cancel that okay but that's all there is to setting up your document, okay? There are some other features in there that I will create, I will go into later on when I talk about advanced document settings. It'll be a while before I get there because I'm going to be teaching this progressively from beginning to advanced and or to an intermediate and then to advanced, okay? Um, I choose not to try to make a single video on everything because it becomes overwhelming. And then this way you can also go back. So this here video is called Document Setup. Should be easy for you to find. Just Google search my files, <laughs> YouTube search my files, and you'll get my document setup file. Thank you for your time. See you on the next video.